M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT880 or the UV98. Someone asked me, how do you add channels to zones? So if you turn this up and I press the hash, press it once, zone mode. we're in zone mode. So when you're in zone mode, you cycle through the channels that are in that zone, okay? Frequency mode. Frequency mode, we can type frequencies. Okay. Probably the most commonly used mode, I would say. Press again. Channel mode. Channel mode. And we can cycle through every single Multiple. channel that's been saved on this device. Okay. Five. Two. Now, the question I had was how do you put a channel using the radio? Turn that down. Using the radio into a zone. So if you look here, it says channel two. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the name there, it only has the channel, it's the name above. So if we go to menu. Then go down to channel settings, channel settings, menu, and let's go down to, no, I made a mistake there, sorry. Go to menu, down to zone settings, select zone. And now we've got zones that we've pre-named, okay, here. And you can name them using the radio. So go to one that's unnamed, select and then edit name, and then it's, as you can see, it's called zone eight. So if you want to delete, just go, select edit name, move the arrow, it's quite faint. I don't know if you can see it, but you're moving a red line to in front of the eight, and then we can delete, look at that, okay, deleted. Then you've got ABC here, so we're gonna call this zone, uh, let's, just, let's just call it air, so A, and then I, PQR, and you can change, if you look here, it says ABC, you can change that to small letters and numbers if you want. Let's go one, two, click OK. So you've named the zone, okay? So now, let's just go back and show you the names there. We'll go up to other, na other zones we've named. So to add channels inside, all you do is select the one you want to add, then go down, instead of doing edit name, go to select channel. And now, this is the annoying bit, there's no names here. You have to just select a little, see the way you've got an arrow there? Change it, you want to go down and then change it to a tick. So you've got ticks and X's here. You do that just pressing the hash. So I know it's a bit annoying and all that, and if they add the names, that'll be cool, but for now, that's what you've got. Then click OK, and that's it, and that's how you add channels into zones. So if we now go up, zone mode and this is the other annoying thing it doesn't display the the, the zone Two, names four, now it actually does on the software yeah four, one. it just says yeah on the software you can see the zone names so uh, let's have a look at the software but at least you've seen how to do it on the actual radio okay we've opened the latest cps which is version 1.08 and if you go to channel here's all your channels okay and you can add a channel, just click here, type the frequency, select your tone, your power, and that's it, it's that easy. Now, if you move across to zones, there, here are our zones that we created, whether it's on the radio or on the software. And you can see, if we click each one, I'm just gonna make sure you can see what I'm doing here. You never know with the software, <laughs> you can. Right, I've named them. And we can name one here, look, at the bottom, zone nine which they're all pre-named let's call it military even though i don't know any military frequencies and then to add channels into military we can only select from the list that's in the middle here so these are all the channels you've ever created so if i just randomly choose two okay going to in military we're going to choose two and then we're going to send them across i know there isn't a right, very clear right hand arrow so we now know that if we are in, in military zone, we've got two channels in that zone. If we go up to the top here, we've got all these channels in that zone. So each zone that, that you select, you decide what's in them. Like ham has got nothing in there at the moment. Let's just put one in there. And this will display identically on the radio. And that's it really. Uh, that's how you do zones. Now, if you, some people, many have asked me, well, how do I rename the HF sort of frequencies? When you press that button and it goes into radio mode here, 
So you're, you're just selecting the tab FM radio. This works, this is a receive only, but this works for the HF radio and for say BBC. Uh, so you, first of all, you to put the frequency in, uh, you, you have to select the range because it's like that, there's four ranges. So for HF and CB, we select two to 30. For broadcast radio, we would select 64 to 108 megahertz. And so that's for the receive only side of, of the radio. I'm just trying to think if we select air band here. I'm pretty sure air band, you actually just create a channel. So let's do one here. And uh, we'll go one. So this is, although it's in the transmit section, um, it's receive only. So there you are, air band. Okay. And you can select AM in the settings. Oh, it's here. Look. AM there. Look. See? So you can select air band and if you look here, you can actually select on the right hand side if it receives or transmits, but I'm pretty 99.9% .9 sure it will never transmit on airband, but you know, don't hold me to that. But you can reset, this is the new part of the software, you can reset the RXTX. By default, the previous CPS, um, by default, didn't allow you to receive and transmit. You had to go in and change it, but it looks like with version 1.08, they have changed it back to what it should be, you know. Um, but yeah, of course, only transmit where you're allowed. And then you've got device and bring in an image, power on, don't really change that one. And then all your little settings like your brightness and how long the screen's on for, uh, what's going to display on channel A. You've got zone mode displaying on A and on AA. You've got frequency. So you've got A, B and C. You can see that A, B and C. Because it's a triple display radio, not simultaneous though. Another whole config page there. And yes, it does do NOAA, broadcast channels, HF bands. It's, it, I still say it. I still say it. It's the best uh, radio, the best um, budget radio ever made. I still think that. But that's just my opinion. It's really hot here. That's why I'm sweating. Thanks for watching Zone Mode on the Radtail and the UV98. And yes, this software firmware will go into the UV98. You just need to make sure that when you select, yeah, just move this out a minute. When you select the software that you download, you select the right serial number. So you've got the older radios, which is 1.13a. Looking at the firmware, the CPS looks the same, I would say. 1.08 and you've got the newer radios so you need to just double check but it's not, you're not going to brick it it's just going to say now nah, it's not going to work and that's showing us 1.13 as well but not with the a uh, and the yeah video soon is updating the firmware on the 910 and i'm going to be looking at the rt817 soon as well which is uh, really pretty much like all the other ones <laughs> but it's not uh, it's not it's not a rad tell um 880 with the triple display that one is going for the for all the competitors i'll tell you now that's a hard one to compete with and i think they'll just be copying by for now